Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to derive a formula for finding the cosine of the sum of two angles. This means our question is, what is the cosine of alpha plus beta? And to make our proof, this is what we are trying to find. To find a formula for this expression, we are going to use the formula that I derived in one of my previous videos. We are going to use the formula for cosine of alpha minus beta and you can find this video in the cards right now and using our result from our previous derivation we know that this is equal to cosine of alpha times cosine of beta and then a plus sign then we have the second term which is sine of alpha sine of beta these are multiplied with each other so you might be asking how can we use this one to prove uh, this one? I mean, we have the difference, we have the cosine of the difference, but how does that exactly help us to find the cosine of the sum? Well, I want you to, I want you to do this. I want you to replace beta with negative beta. I mean, you can do this. You can substitute negative beta for beta. And what would happen if you do that? Well, if you do that, you will have cosine of alpha. You still have the minus, but now instead of beta, you're going to have negative beta. Okay? And th this is, oops, this is going to be equal to, of course, a minus and another minus will give you a plus. So this will in fact be equal to cosine of alpha plus beta which is the cosine of the sum of two angles, which is what we are trying to find ultimately. So what is it equal to then? Using this right part and substituting negative beta for beta, we will have, let's write it in on the new line, we will have cosine of alpha times cosine of, this is the important part, not beta, but negative beta, a plus sign, we have sine of alpha, times sine of instead of beta we will have negative beta all right and so we now only need to express cosine of negative beta and sine of negative beta in terms of uh, trigonometric values of beta and to do that i will draw a unit circle so we have a unit circle like this this is x and y and the circle is like this. The unit circle simply means the radius is 1, this r value is 1, and the center of the circle is the origin, 0, 0. So since if we measure this angle as beta, well then the x coordinate will be 1 times cosine of beta, so it will simply be cosine of beta, comma, sine of beta. So x is the cosine and y is the sine on our unit circle and this is the angle this is the angle beta what is negative beta it is simply the other way like this and as you can see the projection over the x-axis is the same so cosine of beta and cosine of negative beta are the same because as we can see from our diagram they have the same x component. So what I'm trying to say is, let me write it, cosine of alpha times, instead of cosine of negative beta, we can write simply cosine of beta because they are equal. And how do we know that they are equal? Well, when we look at our diagram, we see that the corresponding x coordinates are the same. But what about, let me write this part as well, what about sine of negative beta? Well, the sine of beta is going to be projected here, so it is a positive value. But when we look at the sine of negative beta, it is going to be a negative value. And in fact, since this picture is symmetrical, this and this distances will be same, only their signs will change, which means sine of beta is equal to negative sine of negative beta. So we can substitute negative sine of beta for sine of negative beta and if we distribute this negative sign if we bring it front we front we will have
cosine of alpha times cosine of beta minus sine of alpha times sine of beta. And this is our final result because notice we only have alpha and beta here and uh, the, this is equal to cosine of alpha plus beta. So we just drew uh, we drew we just derived the formula for finding the cosine of two uh, to finding the cosine of the sum of two angles. It turns out you have a very similar formula that we had for the difference. The only change is the positive here becomes a negative here. Anyways, this is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.